Welcome to Free to Play Unlimited. I'm Oksana, and this week we finally learned of Neverwinter's beta date, as well as the first Raiders expansion. But we have more news coming up, as well as a new feature, so keep watching. FreeMMOStation.com Free to play unlimited. Perfect World and Cryptic Studio revealed the beta dates for the highly anticipated free to play MMORPG Neverwinter. They also revealed information on the founder packs. Ever wonder what it takes to get into that amazing beta that all your friends are in? The Hero of the North Founders Pack is exactly what you need to get in. With this Founders Pack, you'll have early five-day VIP right. access to Neverwinter. There are three beta weekend dates scheduled, February 8th through 10th, March 8th through 10th, and March 22nd through 24th. There are, however, a few conditions to join, such as purchasing one of the two Founder Packs that gives you access to the beta. The three Founder Packs were also detailed, the Neverwinter Bounders Pack costs $20 and is the only one that won't grant you access to the beta. The Guardian of Neverwinter Pack costs $60, while the Hero of the North Founders Pack will set you back $200, but offers a $549 value. Check the official website and the trailer for more details on the content of each pack. And go get your Hero of the North Founders Pack today! Oh, and on your way out, you can pass on a golden beta key to one of your very special and jealous friends. Take this. Yeah! Alright! I'm awesome! War Thunder is now in open beta in Europe, North America, and South America. Russian players have already been enjoying this aerial combat game for a few weeks. Gajin Entertainment worked on this game for over four years, and this is just the beginning, since the studio plans on adding a lot more features in the coming years. With over 600,000 players participating in the closed beta, new players will experience extra features such as new aircraft in the British and German beta technical trees and an updated interface. You can watch our first look to learn more about this amazing game. Perfect World Entertainment has announced the first expansion for the free-to-play action MMO, Raiders. Titled Broken Silence, this expansion will increase the level cap to 40 while adding new zones, an updated PvP battle arena system, new monsters, and more. More info will be released soon, according to the publisher. Check the first screenshots of this expansion. Last week, Sony Online Entertainment released the free-to-play MMORPG Wizardry Online in North America and Europe. This game is part of the classic series Wizardry and was developed by GamePot Inc. You should know the drill by now, permadeath is the main appeal of this game. So, if you fancy yourself a challenge with plenty of deadly traps and potentially lethal enemies, you should try this game. This week we have a first look for a surprising browser-based game called King's Road. You can play it on Facebook, and you definitely should, especially if you're a Diablo fan. Slaughter the guys here. Yeah. 
He takes a little bit more damage than the, um... This week in Face Off, we have two hard as nails, shoot first, ask questions later, online shooters. District 187 Sin Streets is a gritty game about SWAT versus criminals, while Absolute Force Online may take itself less seriously but is equally ruthless. Which game steals your attention? Leave your opinion in the comments. For this week's quiz, we have a cartoon shooter that offers an almost previously unheard of level of weapon customization. You can make so many combinations with weapon parts that the results can go from outrageously funny to shockingly deadly. The first one to write the answer in the comments will see their name featured in the next Free to Play Unlimited episode. You may know Jagex from RuneScape fame, but this studio has other titles in development, such as the anticipated Transformers universe. While this browser-based game is set in the Transformers Prime timeline, details are still few and far between. It's pretty obvious that players will be able to choose between Autobots and Decepticons, and there should be some degree of customization available. Early details indicate a team-based gameplay, and the first trailer revealed a lot of third-person fighting as well as some auto-combat. Transformers Universe is expected during 2013, and you can sign up right now for the closed beta. That's it for this week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments and suggestions below. Until next time.